Hello friends, in this video we are going to learn about the step form in uh, React.js with the help of the material UI. So these are basically the steps that we have to follow with the form like uh, suppose we have a personal details, then we have a biography, then we have a you can say user details. So such kind of things we can uh, accomplish with the help of the step form. So you can see that we have a step form that we can use and uh, make such kind of things. So it, it will give the nice look to your project. So you can see that. This is also we can use, we can add, add the images also, icons. We can also use such kind of vertical also. So where you need like, uh, you can see we have uh, in progress like uh, the data. So we can use this one, vertical stepper. Okay, then we can also use such kind of things also. If you have uh, mobile stepper, you can say mobile steps, then text with carousel, then you can use you have a dots also next next then we have a progress also how much progress it is okay so this is basically a react step that we are going to use in our project okay so we can see that how they are going to implement that one they have the states also then we have total steps then completed steps then last step minus one and uh, they are handling the steps also if, if we press handle back then which steps gonna be minus one from that okay and this is the uh, structure of like uh, creating a steps okay so let's have a look i have already created some of the things so let's have a let's check out how it gonna be i'm going to reload this one so basically multi-step for form that is i'm going to use so i'm filling all the information that required okay so if i put next then add the city then the date of birth if you're going to add then phone number then we can agree the terms you can see that the rest of the data is still there that is that is very important that we have to main manage that states of the previous one right so you can see that all the data is there then confirm and continue then thank you your form is submitted and all so how we are going to build it let's have a look so we have a uh, app.tsx so basically uh, we have the stepper form so we have a component step form Right, we have a header and footer, whatever you want to add, header and footer you can add. But main thing is that the stepper, step form. Okay, so we where we have a steps one, which are first case step, second step, and the third confirm. So these are the steps, which is initializes with a zero, one, two. Okay, and the last is default if there is no step. Right, first step, second step, th confirmation step. So you can manage these labels here. Right, so you need to define the labels. Right after this we have active step so which we, which one is the active step right At, uh, same thing that is uh, he, here but we have used you can see that box we have used then the stepper active step so you can see that here also so we have the step uh, active okay then we have all steps completed then we have a stepper it should be non-linear it should be a vertical whatever so you can add it over here so i'm taking the example from here also the stepper part is there right the labels <coughs> okay after this we have a handle steps okay so handle steps showing all the cases here so you can see that all the cases active steps are there whatever it, they have also defining the same one the stepper form okay and they have all steps completed part so here they have mentioned all the steps so these are uh, where are the steps these are the steps basically if they have defined one right so you can see that we have uh, whatever the handle steps we have we have take it and uh, pass the active state uh, active step currently and then we are going to set that state so active state then use context AP, context one and setting that state first second third and fourth right so this is the part one then in this one we have we have created the forms so in the first steps we are creating the form so you can see that we have created the full fledged form over here and we have checking also whether the first name is filled not filled if you want to add the validation also then we have to you have to do some of the extra work whether you go with the form make whether you want to go with the custom validations right so in that note you need to use the validations otherwise to create to for creating a form it's just a thing like whatever you can return uh, just put your form here and return whatever right okay and one more thing to maintain the states like suppose by clicking on the back the data st still should be there or not 
that is very very important so you need to pass by the prop cell right so here you can see that the form values right in using the context we are sent, uh, registering the first name last name and the gender you can see that so whatever we have the uh, first name dot value so we are getting it from this one first name last name email gender and we are storing it so that it will uh, here at the when whenever we press the back button right so you can see that same thing we have a, a, sec, a, a second step also same thing city date phone and this and we have a handle a handle next handle back handle change in the use context so you can also see that uh, such kind of we have handling the steps okay you can see that app context create context handle change handle back so how many steps we are going to increase or decrease so which is maintained with the help of the reducer state okay so whether you want if i go back then how many steps i need to decrease if i go next to so how how to i in, uh, increase the value okay so this is basically uh, you can see that the reducers which we are setting in and dispatching the actions right you can see that handle next handle back dispatch decrease dispatch increase so it will add a one step greater one step minus okay then we have a form change so whatever form is gonna be changed so we will dispatch the form value and store the values okay this is the validation part whether you want to go with validations or not okay so after the last step we can see that after the handle submit we will dis uh, we will listing all the data from the you can say perform the props you can see that form values we are getting from this but here we are using use context so the data is stored here so we are fetching the values from the uh, form values that we have stored in the form values you can see that here we have defined the form values state dot form value action name state dot form values with action name value also field value right so data is stored here so we are getting all the data and passing the data in the list form then we are if if, if the button is confirm and continue then we will move to the handle submit and we will make a uh, submit form and return the form okay so this is the this is the part that we have uh, that we, we uh, this is the last step so you can see that whenever we uh, click on that uh, last one so it will go to that part you can see that you can see that right so you can click on back also the data is retained right there are various certain methods to implement this i have also implemented such kind of things in my project so I will also show you that part also like uh, we have I have also done but my method is different ones uh, I'm not uh, using the like you can say reducers for that one I am just using the state and the props to maintain the states from back and forth okay so you can also do this way also there is another way also okay so let me know if you want the another way also we will also post that one also okay so this is basically a step performed so any con uh, any confusion any query in that just let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day